Let me show you how to do weighted average on the HP 12C financial calculator. Turns out weighted average is uh, quite a common calculation in business and finance. The um, three keys you're going to be using on our calculator here is, are the enter key, the sigma plus key, and then in light blue, because you have to hit this light blue function key under the six, the X bar W. So that tells you it's a weighted mean. What you're going to do is you're going to put in pairs of data, X and Y, um, X being the data we're interested in and Y being the variable we're weighting X by. And how do you put that in? You're going to type in the first X variable and then hit enter and then the Y variable and then hit sigma plus. So it's easiest to see when we do an example. So let me get my calculator back here. So I have this information here. We want to find the expected return for a stock. And we have different states of the world and probabilities associated with each state and returns associated with each state. Now, normally you do the calculation by typing in, uh, you'd get 10% or 0 0.10 times minus 3%, and then you'd add it to 0.75 times 12%, and then add that to 0.15 times 20 percent. But you can do that here in your um, financial calculator. So let's see if we can't do that. All right, remember this is X, so this has to go in first. So 3 percent, let's change the sign, CHS, enter, and then 0.1 is our um, probability, and hit sigma plus. And it tells us that's the first pair of data. Um, Second pair would be 12%, enter, and then the probability is 0.75, sigma plus, second pair of data, and the final pair of data would be 20%, enter, and then 0.15, sigma plus. So we have three sets of data, and then we just hit this function key, and we get 11.7%, which seems reasonable, it's got to be greater than minus 3% and um, less than 20% and it should be closer to 20% because this is a very small probability so it should be really between 12 and 20% so it should be up here somewhere. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Um, let's go to the next example. Alright, suppose we want to calculate the um, the portfolio beta. So we have this portfolio. It has five stocks in it, A through E. We know the beta for each portfolio or each stock, and we know the value of each stock in the portfolio. Now, how would we normally compute this? What we do is we calculate a weight. We calculate a weighted average. So we take 425,000 and add it to 125,000, et cetera, get the total value of the portfolio and the percentage of the portfolio made up of stock A would be 425,000 divided by the total. The second stock B would be 125,000 divided by the total value of the portfolio. You don't actually have to do that here. It turns out that uh, this calculator will do it for you. So let's see what we can put in here. So this is the X we're interested in calculating the weighted average of. This is what we're weighting by. So we put in 1.25, first um, beta, enter. And because these are all in thousands, we could just put in 425, 125, 72, et cetera. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, 425 sigma plus, first observation, 0.87, enter. 125 sigma plus 1.44 enter 72 sigma plus um, what do we have here so we put in three observations 2.25 enter 89 sigma plus and then the final obs pair of observations or 0.95, enter, and 550 sigma plus. 
And then again, just let's just calculate this. And we get 1.1629 or 1.163, however you want to round this off. So what it did is it added all of these up and then created each one of the weights and then did the multiplication and did the addition. So it's quite a bit faster, quite a bit easier to do this calculation using the, um, the function here for calculating weighted mean in this uh, HP 12C calculator.